super. Now, if I was a smart man, I could get a light that I don't need to hold with my own mouth. You just fit in your dietary iron. That's aluminum. Mm. Well, yeah, you don't need that. Doom, doom, doom. Do you know the doom song? Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, as we all know, we don't use the seamed pipe for special activities. Splits. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now this isn't going to weaken the pipe or anything because it's not doing anything aside from where it's I don't know what the heck kind of method they use for making seamed pipe. Um, I, it kind of looks like friction weld style, but I, I don't really know. Um, but we just got to get rid of that. The pipe is still there. It's still structurally fine. And where it's going on to is going on to the thing there, so it's not that big of a deal. And so, the next step here is cleaning up the yolks. And... Um, what I'm going to do is um, not really hold it in this thing here, but um, I just I was just hoping it would hold it. Okay. Yeah. I got to get rid of this. So I'm um, on the other one. What I'll do is I'll uh, since this one's got a nice ring, I uh, messed up with the initial. I had forgotten a step. What you do is you come in here, right, like before the weld, and you put a V in there with the um, mm. deburring tool, and then it, you just kind of work that V down to the tube, and then it'll split just like this. It'll peel, and uh, that's where you know how far you've gone in, and then you just clean up the extra little bit here, and you don't have to do this whole sleeve here. But what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab a cutoff disc and we're just going to go around it because you don't need a lathe to do any of this. Um, it just helps. So like if we had one, two, three, not one, two, three, V blocks or something that we know is straight, like straight, straight, not, not a piece of plywood, not two by fours, nothing like that. Known perfect straight. Um, or now well, I guess you don't need to have a perfect straight. If you have a decent enough flat table and indicators and some sort of V-blocks to center stuff, you can do all of this without a lathe. It's just a matter of proper alignment and taking the time to do it right. But um, that's what we're gonna do this one with the grinder or the cutoff disc. I don't know, I don't know where to even hold this stupid thing, man. <laughs> it's basically like, what is your opinion of this kind of thing? Now for the part that I'm really not keen on, because of the fact that it's just kind of, I just, I don't like to do it. I don't want to do it. You familiar with the breakfast guy? Maybe. What is going on here? Breakfast. Oh, yeah. Classic. Love that. 
And it's primarily because one of my friends used to say breffisk. This is how he said it for years until I, I made fun of him so bad that he stopped doing it. I went back and watched the uh, fucking Numa Numa guy. Oh, the, the, the fat kid? Yeah. Which was the, the fat German guy? Like 15 years ago. Really? You know, there's actually a song called Numa Numa, and it is not the same song. I downloaded it three times when I was a kid, and I yeah. kept pissed because it was the wrong song every time. It was like the same song with like three different remixes or whatever. Yeah, the actual song is the Dragostia Dente by some Romanian band, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had that and one other song that they had, um, and I found it on my old iTunes. I managed to get back into my original iTunes. Nice. Which I can't get back into again because they keep sending emails to the wrong email and they refuse to let me have an email. I'm like, whatever, fuck it. So, yeah, that's a classic. You ever watch the music video for that shit? Mm -hmm. They are like super gay band. technically do this with a hacksaw if you had all day. Yeah. Hopefully this is the last one. Yep, that's the last movement. Put the hammer away. What the hell? Ambulance. I don't remember that song. my groove was a little bit bigger than it needed to be. It was less shaft than I thought. Mm. But that's okay, because weld will fill it. You've heard of filet fish 
Well, this is a fillet weld. Apparently, Russia has got their own version of all that stuff right now. You got to like McDonald's. And it's like all written in Russian and stuff. And they got like Starbucks and it's like an otter or something like that. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like all those movies where they use like a pear instead of Apple products. So pretty, not really, but but yeah. So uh, I think I think what I want to do here is actually um, put it back, put this back in the lathe, and then just dress this a little bit, just because I can. Yeah. If I had to do this without the lathe, you can do it a couple ways. You can do it with a file, which we can do a little bit for video's sake, or you can use, you could use this cutoff disc to just lightly do it if you're really got steady hands. You could use a grinder if you're willing to cut up this edge here a little bit. Um, a burr again, there's a, but like I say, we'll do a little bit of file action that would be my uh, first choice. It's one thing a lot of people do forget is that everything that can be done now can be done with hand tools. Like it or not, just about everything. That's how they used to do it. Everybody seems to forget that. We can't do this with a CNC. We can't do this without a microwave. We can't do this, blah, 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 fuck off. Something I used to bitch about when I was like growing up, when I like learned that you can you know, reduce gear, gear reduce things to make them better. Yeah. You could power anything with a chainsaw engine if you got enough reduction. Anything, anything in the world. You want to move a fucking space shuttle with a chainsaw? You can do it. You just have to have all of the reduction and it will move. <laughs> It'll take days, but it's, it's possible. It's, it's far from the right idea, but it is an idea. So it doesn't need to be perfect perfect because it's like once again it's going to be welded yeah. all you need to do is be able to get this thing sucked up tight because it doesn't matter as long as it's most of the way on here like 90 percent of the way and straight it does not matter you know if you really wanted to go bananas with it you could put like a couple oh, drill a couple holes and you could do spot welds directly to the thing in the middle if you wanted to mm. but if you're going to do that do two opposing because you will fuck up the balance if you don't and that's a big thing. So when we go to weld this thing, we'll do a tack weld here, 180 out, a tack weld here, 90 degrees over, tack weld, tack weld. And then A to B, and then, you know, mm. C to D, B to C, A to D, yeah. you know? It's the way it works, because then when it's pulling, as it gets hot, it's stupid watching the thing we played with it one time, you know, how, how bad it gets off with like the first drive shaft we did, um, he showed, he, he, it was like 20, 30 thousandths off. Damn. And then you weld the other side and then it went back to like two thousandths off. It was just stupid. It was one of those like, why the fuck does this work? Right. <laughs> but um, no. it is what it is. Hardly at all. 
I wonder if this thing's been moving so much. Oh, now the table doesn't move. Engage brain before thinking. careful when you're feeling stuff like this so you don't the fuck out of oh it'll go from like fine 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 oh my god that's my bone mm. you know it's um thankfully i've never done that but i uh i have cut myself to the bone on my own time <laughs> and it uh it doesn't hurt as bad as you think it hurts your brain watching your bones move though i don't like that Yeah, this one right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it went all the way to the bone. I cut myself on sheet metal on my F-250 years uh, ago. Yeah. And um, I was like, I was, I was wrenching on a, on a manifold, and I went, <laughs> smashed it right into the sheet metal. And um, the absolute worst part about it was when you were moving like this, you could see the skin stay stationary, and you could see the bone moving. And then, like, on this hand here, I smashed my hand at one point in time, and... Um, it fractured the bone and so a chunk of bone came out of my skin oh. and it worked itself out over the matter of a few years oh. and i would just have this pain this dull pain yeah and it just ached and when it got cold it would ache like you've ever you ever had like a finger splint it gets cold just like that with the metal splint and um it would ache and so i just sit there and rub it and there was a little bump just looked like a little like mosquito bite bump yeah and then one day i was poking at it because i was getting pissed off and I was poking at it because it had developed like a scab and um, I'm poking at it and I'm like, that's hard. And it was just that instant note. I'm like, that's a fucking bone. And so I pulled out this like chunk of bone, probably, probably about that big. It was stupid. I've always wanted to x-ray it and see the chunk missing, but does it cost money? Yeah. And I'm not just going to fucking go get an x-ray for the hell of it. But... That was, I was 16 when I did that. Believe it or not, it's actually been like a whole year since I've done this with my truck. It was last winter. Hmm. Yeah, am I, uh... I want to clarify that the, this cut did not happen from that truck out there. This was when I was a teenager. Um, it's been a little bit. so 
aggressive with the grit. Um, you know, I wonder how YouTube feels about the term bastard file because it's actually a legitimately like recognized term, but it's a swear word. Hmm. You get the really, really aggressive like horse hoof files. They're called oh. bastard file. Don't ask me why they called it that. I just got told that by John. One of the biggest things about using files for stuff like this is keeping the crap out of it and um, also uh, knowing how to file flat. I'm not doing the most perfect job in the world, but it's sufficient for what's going on here. I really don't want to keep touching that with that big file. The big file leaves nasty Velcro-y type burrs. When we broke down on the highway and we had to file the bearing off of the hub, yeah. I had to lay in the, in, the, in, the, in the flex. And that was fucking nasty. Those, those things stuck with me the rest of the week. This thing, this thing makes curlies, little curly cues that look like Velcro, and they are mean. A lot of my filing with this one is more angled in like this because I'm just trying to get the big part here and if I eat into this too much it'll make things weird. So, but with this one, since it's less aggressive, I'm doing that one flat. Okay. You hear that too? Coming in the front door. <sighs> you see how it all turns one color? Yeah. It is John. Loving it? I suppose. Fix some boo boos. I'm um, getting rid of the last little bit that the. Um, Thing didn't get with the grinder. Uh -huh. sure. Just manual options, yep. not just powered options. The other one I'm going to do uh, on the lead. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a, it's a flex. Mm. This is the one that's used. Yeah, I know, I know, but it doesn't flex a lot. It's no, great. you're not getting what I'm talking about. I'm like flexing on people. Flexible of use. No, it's a slang term. Oh. Um, showing off. No. Showing that we have a I file see. that they don't. I see. Your flex, I got uh -huh. you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Flexing. Yes, no, I got mm -hmm. you. I got you. Yeah, I used to do that. When I, yeah. I have mm -hmm. never done that. I've always been that weird fat kid. You know, I didn't even know how to flex them after I started lifting weights. That's... I couldn't feel the muscles to know how to flex them. I just, I was a farm kid. We did lots of stuff. But nobody was showing off where I was at. So right. It was just, okay, go pick up the, the calf. You know, hell, everybody did that. <laughs> go pick up the calf. Know, mighty, well, who are you going to impress? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. If you get rid of a baby cow, is that decaf? Or would that be when you give birth? Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be when you give birth. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and heat up and put that end in first. We'll straighten this one. 
them lays first. Okay. As far as their heat up. Extreme close up. Are you familiar with the extreme close up? From Wayne's World? Oh, shit. <laughs> I love that so much. Wayne's World, Wayne's World. Direct rip off of um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Did you know that Wayne's World is actually a um, SNL skit? Hmm. Originally? Mm-mm. Yeah, you'll have to take the time to look up what movies are actually from SNL skits, and it's actually really surprising how many, how many of them are actually from there. Is it showing on the camera? So right here we got a high spot, which I will mark with one of my 97 markers in my pocket. And it's a little bit of a high spot here and here. And I dress it a little bit right there. Don't look too hard. They got a brush that's meant specifically for cleaning out files. And it looks like a horse brush. Yeah, that's nice. First time I saw it, I was like, why the fuck do we have this? I almost threw it out, and John was like, don't! <laughs> that's not a horse brush! <laughs> and it was funny because he was like, I never, he's like, I've been around horses, been around horse brushes, never once thought that they looked like that until you said that. <laughs> things when I was researching doing this before I did it at all ever or before I did it with my truck let me rephrase that when we did it with the charger it was just kind of like surprise we're doing this yeah um so we were working on an engine swap we took the engine and transmission from a Plymouth satellite sedan and put it into a charger it was like a 300,000 mile LA 318 it's pretty sweet it had like 280,000 on or something stupid but yeah but anyways, one of the things I was reading about is these people were like, don't get rid of these lines. Don't get rid of these lines. They're meant for gripping the pipe. No, they're not. They're just a really aggressive feed on the lathe because they can get the shit done quicker. It just happens to be that it also works that way. <laughs> it's all about production. It's nothing about, they did not think that far ahead with this. It just happened to be a beneficial thing in the end. And so you get these people that are like, I worked on stuff one time. <laughs> and then they get on the internet. Love it.